Good afternoon, I'm Raylene Ramsey. This is your afternoon news fix for Monday, the 9th of October. Some world oil prices are jumping following attacks from Palestinian militant group Hamas on Israel. More than 700 Israelis and more than 400 Palestinians are confirmed dead. And it's thought up to 100 Israeli citizens and soldiers have been taken hostage. The BBC's Nick Marsh says soaring oil prices is due to uncertainty. About a third of the world's oil comes from the Middle East. And the question now is what will Israel's response to these attacks be? And Israel's ambassador to the UN, Gilad Erdan, is calling for action. I have seen shocking footage, graphic images that will forever be seared in my brain. What we are witnessing are war crimes, blatant, barbaric war crimes. ACT candidate for Port Waikato, Neil Christensen, has died. Party leader David Seymour says he was an infectious, charismatic and fascinating man and the country's only registered specialist poultry veterinarian. He was 35th on the party's list for the election. National's trying to explain its way out of a bombshell suggestion. Kiwis could be forced into a second general election. The party is promoted if New Zealand first holds the balance of power. A deal may not be able to be struck, sending Kiwis back to the polls. But leader Chris Luxon maintains they're not panicking. All we're acknowledging is in an MMP environment, there is a huge amount of uncertainty. Every MMP election is incredibly close. Meanwhile, Chris Hipkins reckons Saturday's election might election night result will be much tighter than polls suggest. The Labour leader's confident there'll be a bump in the numbers and believes there's still a sizable block of Kiwis who haven't made up their mind. Asked whether voters want to change at the top, Hipkins was blunt. I don't think so. I think that as voters have the opportunity to see what a change actually means, uh, the same, they see the instability and chaos that change could bring, um, I think we're going to see our numbers going up. A jury has retired to consider its verdict in the retrial of the Christchurch man accused of murdering Michael McGrath. David Benbow is charged with killing his childhood friend in Hallswell in 2017, though no body or weapon has ever been found. Georgia O'Connor Harding has more. Crown Prosecutor Barnaby Hawes acknowledges the case is circumstantial with no body to examine, no murder weapon, no DNA and no confessions. But he told the jury the case against Bimbo was compelling and decisive. Defence lawyer Kirsten Gray maintains Bimbo is in no better position than anyone else to know where McGrath is. To sport and disappointment from Liam Lawson in what's likely to be his final Formula One cameo for the season. The 21-year-old Alpha Tauri driver crashed out of the Qatar sprint race before finishing 17th in the main event. Bathurst 1000 winner Shane van Gisbergen has stopped short of ruling out a return to Mount Panorama in the future. All Blacks lock Brodie Retallick has no qualms about being drawn against Ireland in the Rugby World Cup quarterfinals. I'm Raylene Ramsey and that is your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update tomorrow morning from the News Talk ZB Newsroom.